Hi everyone, Chris Clark here, the Colorado Academy of Cosplay. I'm going to do a quick video on how to cut bevels on EVA foam. Uh, bevels will give you nice good angles uh, and make things easier to work with and uh, put armor together, whatever you really want to achieve, um, even just simple effects. Now, first off, I'm always an advocate of having a nice sharp blade. Uh, this is the blade that I like to use. It's an Ulfa. It's a 25 millimeter telescoping snap-off blade, uh, and it comes with uh, replacements that look like this. But I like the nice thick one. That way, it's nice and sturdy and not liable to snap in half as you're cutting. Proper sharpener, of course. This is my diamond whetstone of sorts. Uh, it's about like maybe 15, 20 bucks off of Amazon or at Home Depot. Uh, where you can find them and a, a metal ruler it's really all you need uh, a lot of people use dremels to do this uh but i i mean i i have a dremel and i like to use it but i don't like to use it for this because dremels they make a lot of uh, it's, it's it's really messy uh and i don't like to have to clean up if i don't have to so this still gives a nice good clean cut now straight cut you're just going straight up and down a bevel is just Basically, you're cutting at an angle, and it could be any angle that you want. Think of like a picture frame where you've got your two pieces um, stick together like, you know, at a 90 degree angle. That angle right in the middle shows your bevel. It's usually 45 degrees. But, for example, we're going to cut this piece of foam just straight 90 degrees. Starting at the top, ending, ending behind. So... 90 degrees, pretty simple, right? Now, if we're going to do a bevel, we're going to rotate it. Um, I like to rotate it kind of away from me. It's a lot easier to, 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 to cut a bevel if I rotate the blade away from me, because then I can use the ruler as a guide. So the, the sharp edge of the blade is gonna end up being kind of under, uh, under the ruler. If, it's, if I rotate it towards me, then I don't have a whole lot of control. It's kind of awkward, um, and your cuts just don't really come out looking very nice. So let's do kind of a, a 45 degree angle, always having the uh, edge of the blade in contact with the ruler, as well as the tip of the blade on the mat at all times. And of course, pushing down on the ruler with your other hand. It's kind of a few things going on at the same time, but with practice, you can get the hang of it. All right, so now here's a nice 45 degree bevel right there. So you can even do a nice extreme cut. Like that. So I say, okay, I always, I always want the, the knife kind of rotated away from me. What happens if I want to do a cut, a bevel going the other direction? Well, that's pretty easy. You just flip your, your uh, you just flip your foam over. So right here, there's the other half of that bevel right there. But if I want to go the other direction, let's say I want to make a triangle. We'll just put the ruler right at the edge of that slope and we'll cut going down the other direction, just like that. And there you go, triangle, pretty easy. But, granted I've been doing this for a while, um, but that is how you do a bevel. It's pretty easy. Uh, again, you can do, you can definitely do this with a Dremel if a Dremel works out better for you. Um, but like I said, a Dremel does make things a lot messier and it's, it's a bit harder to get things inconsistent and very clean. So, Mess around with it, do what you want. Um, it's it, you can get lots of cool things with the uh, with beveling. Um, it definitely makes your your cosplay your prop look less, uh, I guess, robotic, um, which is funny coming from someone who made a Gundam. So, if you have any questions, let us know. Uh, and uh, thank you for watching the video.